So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm These in class. Everything's cool. Room. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I've... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <clears throat> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Uh-oh. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I can't believe I still have this pencil you case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Or even but I like it old school. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody in class. 
Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I just worked so hard in the shop, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think every day... Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. You have just oh. Participating. Hi, Max. By putting yourself out there in the world, no, no matter who wins, this is just a... You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is... I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Hmm, this might make a cool shot. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of class. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying off She plays it so sharp. I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera.
Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months.